MFA sucks. At least that's what it feels like when your company tells you they're gonna turn on MFA for the first time. But I'm here to tell you in this video that it's not gonna be as bad as what you think it is, and it actually serves a very important role in your company's cybersecurity. So just imagine your company's network and the files that are on it in the same way that you view the building and the people inside it. If somebody had your access card, they could walk around the building pretending to be you and have access to all the stuff inside. The same goes if someone has your password. Adding MFA helps prevent this by forcing you to verify your login attempts. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up and use Microsoft Authenticator on your mobile device. All right, so let's get into it. So first things first, we need to download the Microsoft Authenticator app. If you're using an iPhone, you can follow along with me here, or if you have an Android phone, please scan the QR code on the screen to download it. First, we're gonna to head to the App Store, and we're gonna search for Microsoft Authenticator, right here at the top. And now that we have it downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open it, agree to the basic app data, and we're gonna to wanna to sign in with our Microsoft account. Uh, go ahead and click allow for notifications. You'll need this to be prompted for logins. And now you should see this screen, but we're not quite ready to add our first account yet. So let's put this down and head over to our computer. We're gonna open up Edge. We're gonna to head to outlook.com and we're gonna press sign in. Here, you'll log in with your email and you'll go ahead and press next and type in your password and press sign in. This is gonna be asking you for more information. On this one, it's for MFA, so go ahead and press next. Here on this step, we've already actually installed the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone. So we can go ahead and press next. Now we'll head back to the phone and click add account. We'll click work or school here. And you're gonna go ahead and press scan QR code. Now we'll head back to the computer and press next. Here's the QR code that we need to scan from our app. So let's go ahead and head back to the phone and scan that QR code. Over here, back on the computer, you'll see that it's been approved. You could press next. And here we have to set up a second recovery method. So for this one, we'll use our cell phone number. Go ahead and type in your cell phone number and press next. And you'll get a six digit code text to your phone as well. Type that in here, press next, and you're all set up. All right, so from here on out, you will only have to approve logins that are deemed suspicious. So what that means is if you log in from a new computer or a new location, that's when you'll be prompted for an MFA code. But here's the good news. If you log in from the same computer at the same location all the time, you're only gonna be prompted for an MFA code maybe about once a month or so. So go tell everybody that MFA doesn't suck as bad as you thought it would. And if you have any problems, feel free to reach out to us in the comment section or reach out to our support team at the information below. I feel like I'm giving a presidential address right here. That's for, uh, that's for Chris, send this part to Chris. Yeah. Please like the video and subscribe to System7 for more content like this.